Did you know you step over hidden empires every single day? Armies that farm, build, and fight, powered by bodies smaller than rice? But what keeps those tiny machines alive? No lungs, no red blood, no single brain in charge. So tonight, we shrink down, peel back their armor, and watch every secret system switch on. By the end of this video, you'll see an ant, not as a bug, but as a living bio-robot, rewriting the rules of life. If you like this video, a short comment is enough to keep this channel alive. Ants wear their skeleton on the outside. It is a real armor. The shell is chitin, laced with protein fibers, nature's carbon fiber. It locks in water, anchors muscle, blocks microbes, and shrugs off jaws. But growth demands a gamble called molting. When an ant worker is ready to join the team, it literally splits open its old skin, like peeling off a tiny suit of armor. Then it slides out, soft, pale, almost milky white. It looks fragile, because it is. For hours, it's completely defenseless. So, other ants? Yeah, they stand guard. They protect it, until its new exoskeleton hardens like armor. And here's where it gets cool. Once it's ready, the body's built like a machine. Three powerful zones. First, the head. It's packed with sensors, eyes, antennae, and weapons, like jaws that can slice or crush. Then comes the mesosoma. Think of it like the ant's chest and upper body. This is where the muscle power lives. It fuels all the running, lifting, and climbing. And finally, the gaster. This part? It's all about chemistry and fuel. Here's where the ant digests food, stores energy, and even produces chemical signals to talk to the others. Sounds like superhero stuff, right? Well, that's partly true. And partly a quirk of physics. See, when you're that small, the rules change. At a micro scale, your muscle strength grows faster than your body weight. Wait, what does that even mean? Here's the science. When an animal gets smaller, its muscles shrink, but not as fast as its overall body mass. So, pound for pound. Smaller creatures like ants are stronger than big ones. That's why an ant can lift objects way heavier than itself. But a human? Try lifting 50 times your weight. Yeah, not happening. Let's make it easier. Imagine if you could lift a small car with your bare hands. That's what an ant does every day, just on its scale. And gravity? To us, it pulls hard. But to an ant, it's barely a whisper. Their small size makes them almost immune to falling injuries. They can drop from high places and just walk away. Inside the ant's mesosoma, the middle section of the body, their muscle fibers are packed tight, like steel cables, pulling on the walls of their shell like winches. But if you scaled that ant up to the size of a dog, the legs would collapse, the oxygen system would fail, and the armor would crack. It's just physics. What works in a tiny body won't work when it's big. Their strength is real, but it only works on the tiny stage they were built for. Still, when you see a worker ant dragging a crumb ten times heavier than itself, that's not bragging. That's just smart logistics. Every single calorie matters in the colony. Under the armor flows clear hemolymph, blood without red, no closed arteries, organs just bathe in the stuff. A dorsal vessel, really a chain of pumps, squirts fluid headward in peristaltic waves. Mini pumps in antennae, and legs push the mix into every limb. The circuit carries hormones, immune cells, and heat. 
but not much oxygen. That job sits elsewhere. Ants breathe with no lungs at all. Openings called spiracles dot the shell like micro gills. Each pore feeds branching trachea, a fractal pipe network that drops air straight on the cells. When work spikes, fight, sprint, defend, the ant flicks its abdomen pumping fresh air in bursts. Spiracles snap shut between breaths, saving water and slamming doors on germs. Lightweight plumbing, perfect at micro scale. To an ant, the world is sent first. Antennae bristle with sensilla, hairs that smell parts per trillion. One swipe across a trail decodes friend, foe, food, danger, detour. Compound eyes vary by lifestyle. Cave dwellers are almost blind. Desert hunters see polarized sunlight and polarized moonlight. They hear through legs, subgenual organs reading soil vibrations. A pebble drop is a thunderclap code. Inside the skull, about 250,000 neurons chew these signals, making split-second choices. Small brain, massive parallelism. Memory traces last days, so a forager recalls which blooming tree paid off last dawn. Ant mandibles are, a uh, Swiss Army blades. Trap jaw species preload elastic protein, latch, release, snapping shut at 90 meters per second, which is honestly the fastest movement in the animal kingdom. The recoil can even fling, the ant itself backward kung fu style. Fire ants, though, trade speed for chemistry injecting alkaloid venom that burns like nettle on jet fuel. Weaver ants shoot formic acid. Bullet ants deliver, the most painful sting ever recorded. Every recipe you know balances metabolic cost against colony defense. Pure evolutionary math. Six legs run a tripod gate. Three feet down, three up, rock steady. Claws plus sticky pads let workers hang upside down, carrying lunch three times their mass. But how do they know where home lies after all those maze-like scavenges? Well, they integrate step count and heading on the fly like an internal pedometer. Give an ant stilts and it overshoots the nest, trim its legs and it undershoots. Above, polarized skylight gives compass bearings. Below, faint pheromone signatures leave breadcrumb fail-safes. When desert heat erases scent, celestial math still guides them back. GPS before GPS. In ant society, the colony lives the individual negotiates with death. Camponotus workers self-rupture, autothysis, spraying glue that traps invaders. Suicide is a job title. Fire ants interlock claws, form living rafts, and float for weeks. Their hydrophobic cuticle traps air, making a silver life raft. Army ants become living bridges, stretching bodies across gaps so the army never stalls. Frail bodies turned into modular architecture, genius by numbers. So, let's zoom out for a second. One ant is like one cell in a bigger organism. Food actually travels mouth to mouth through a process called trophallaxis, which honestly works a lot like blood flow in our bodies. Pheromones pulse through the colony like hormones, shifting the workforce around. You get more nurses at dawn and more soldiers right after an attack. The brood, or the young ants, get moved between warm and cool rooms in the nest. It's basically an external womb, but it's regulated by behavior instead of biochemistry. And here's the wild thing. There's no single brain in charge, but these emergent decisions can outpace some supercomputers. Ants tunnel tons of soil every single year, aerating the ground, moving nutrients around, and boosting water flow. 
They also harvest corpses, prune pests, and bury seeds that actually bribe them with fatty oleosomes. That's underground planting with insect labor, if you can believe it. If you remove ants, decomposition slows down, plant mixes shift, and pests can just explode in numbers. When one tiny gear goes missing, the whole biome groans. Engineers have actually copied ant logistics in something called Ant Colony Optimization Code, which now routes trucks and data packets all over the world. Roboticists have borrowed ant sky compasses to steer six-legged rovers in places where GPS just doesn't work. And get this, micro-grippers are designed to mimic ant mandible latches for really delicate surgery. Study small, Build big. Here's the paradox. Each ant is fragile, short-lived, and almost invisible. Yet together they form a network that breathes without lungs, circulates without veins, and thinks without a centralized brain. If you swipe one trail off your counter, you actually snap a living data line in a biochemical internet. So, what shocked you most? Was it breathing through fractals, suicide glue bombs, or jaws faster than sound? Drop your pick below. I read every answer. And if hidden biology thrills you, go ahead and hit subscribe. Stay curious and uh, watch where you step.